from Music City, USA, this is Into the Blue, featuring the very best in bluegrass and acoustic country music. And now here's your host, recipient of the IBMA Broadcaster of the Year Award and the Bluegrass Now Fans Choice Award, Terry Hurd. Hello and welcome to the show. Great to be back with you here as we head into the blue once again with the very best in bluegrass. Music on the way in this hour. Brand new music at that from Billy Droz, Mike Sumner, Audie Blaylock, and Redline, Ashby Frank, and many, many others all brought to you by BluegrassToday.com. Plus, my special guest Jimmy Yeary will be here to talk about his brand new set. My whole world revolves around the way I feel for you No matter what you say, I know you can't walk away Even if you wanted to When I let myself remember the way I was a lonesome drifter Drifting in a sea of endless blue Angeline, sweet Angeline My fields are green, my lily tree, the only place I want to be. My everything, my Angeline. Your eyes can't lie, baby, I can see. You can't hide what you feel from me. Even if you try, girl, you just can't be mean. Sweet Angeline. You're sweeter than the dew on a rose, a honeysuckle vine on a fence row. The reason I gave up my walking shoes. Well, I met you, girl, and you're here to stay, so I threw my walking shoes away. I want to tell the world and spread the news. But when I let myself remember the way I was a lonesome drifter, drifting in a sea of endless blue. Angeline, my Angeline. My fields are green, my leaning tree, the only place I want to be, my everything, my Angeline. Well, your eyes can lie, baby, I can see you can't hide what you feel from me. Even if you try, girl, you just can't be me, sweet Angeline. Feels green, my little tree, the only place I want to be, my everything, my Angeline. Your eyes can't lie, baby, I can see you can't hide what you feel from me. But if you try, girl, you just can't be me, sweet Angeline. Nine weeks on the bluegrasstoday.com. Top 20 national airplay survey. That's Angeline here on Into the Blue. By one of the great songwriters and performers in bluegrass music, Mr. Jimmy Yeary, who just happens to be sitting across from me right now. Hey, Jimmy. Well, hey, Terry. Uh, Thank you so much for having me. It is so great to see you. I love that song. Nine weeks on the charts, and Mm. uh, I understand that uh, you didn't even break a sweat, and uh, you had one really good reason to break a sweat. Well, yeah, that was uh, was filmed in Palm Springs, Yep, and uh, it actually, I believe that was a record set uh the 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 four days that they that we were there shoot, uh, shooting filming we filmed bone dry we filmed angeline right. all in that same four day period and it was a hundred and i believe 124 or 125 um and and i didn't go inside of a car and get any ac uh, they, uh no relief we were just out there in in that heat and uh, while well, I had a, a girl throwing clothes at me from, yeah. a, from a trailer. You know, Jimmy, every time I get together with you, I learn something new about songwriting. And uh, we, we were talking just before this segment about some of the 
techniques that you use to come up with song ideas to more effectively connect with the listener. And as it turns out, you've got this entire separate empire I didn't even know existed of motivational speaking, and you use a number of these techniques to help people connect on a business level. Well, uh, yeah, you, you know, it, it definitely it, it motivates. But here's the thing that I love about about being able to speak uh, to, um, to to corporations. I, I'm, I've been doing it quite uh, frequently uh, lately, and it's when I write a song, you know, I'm I'm a I'm not the guy that anybody's coming to to jump in an F-150 and go over the blacktop ends and head to a cornfield and build a bonfire next to some girl and cut off jeans so I can get her home to her dad before he pulls out the shotgun. They're coming to me for the story. There was a lot to process in what you just said. There, I'm well, going to that's the first verse down. to a song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just, uh, somebody might cut that. I don't know. But I'm I'm. They come to me for stories. I love the stories, and the reason I love stories so much is because I've even from a young age I realized the 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 power of of uh of feeling a story mm -hmm. and and i would notice that a lot of the songs that i as i was learning to be a songwriter when i was young the the stories that i felt the level at which i feel them it seemed like people seemed to gravitate towards that and and if i was chasing something and trying to write something and didn't really feel it well people didn't seem to gravitate towards it as much and i, I noticed people treated me different when they felt something that i had to say in a song if i really felt it and and so Today, I love to help people uh, in and out of business understand that they can do what what a story, mm. an effective story does. They can they can talk about their lives in detail and not just say it, but feel it. You know, I, I can tell you I love my dad or I can tell you I love the man that taught me how to fish. Mm. Right. You, you, you hear one, you feel the other. So utilizing our lives and and and. Uh, and I, I like everybody to understand that, that, you know, it's our lives are valuable. Our memories are our memories, like our fingerprint is our fingerprint. We have a, a, an amazing life. And when we share that with other people and, and I show you my life, you tend to see your life. If I talk about the tree in the front of the house I grew up in, you tend to see the one in front of the house you grew up in. So the stories don't have to be the same. Just they just need to be told authentically and vulnerably. Well, the fingerprint you're talking about is uh, clearly evident in all of the Jimmy Urie original tunes that I've heard, uh, the collaborations that you've written. And you've got a brand new one that just debuted on the BluegrassToday.com Top 20 yeah. National Survey at number five. And I love the title. You told me earlier that this was actually a chorus that you wrote years ago in high school. Correct me if I'm right. Correct me if I'm right. Yeah, you know, obviously uh, there's the the familiar cliche of correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. but I, I just eat. I wrote ferociously. I mean, I just, I did, I could not uh, um, uh, stop writing in school. And I remember being in class and, 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 and my senior year and, I, and, and, and somebody said, correct me if I'm wrong. And, and I thought, uh, oh my goodness, what if, uh, what if you could twist that and say, correct me if I'm right? Now, let me see. So how would you make correct me if I'm right work? Well, uh, you'd have to be, okay, you could uh, be telling a girl, I don't think you love me anymore. Oh my goodness, but if that's true... Can you correct me and lie to me so I don't have to get my heart broke? Like that's even possible. But the concept, uh, conceptually, I thought, man, what a neat uh, idea. So I wrote that whole course down on a napkin mm. that, uh, um, and, and, and kept it for years. And then till ultimately I was writing uh, in 19, about 1997, I was writing with a couple writers, Tony Martin and Tom Shapiro, huge country musical yeah. writers. And was nervous, didn't have an idea, presented that song. I had written it from the napkin, put it down on a notebook, and anyway, I brought it in that day. And they loved it. And we wrote it and finished it. And it was recorded by a, a great country singer at the time, Kevin Denny. And it was a B-side to a hit he had called That's Just Jesse. Never thought it would... Uh, that one day I would I record it, but uh, as I talked to Billy Joe's about it, and we was ta and we were talking about uh, song, maybe a song being the next single. Uh, I, I I brought this one up, and I love it. It's it's one of my favorite songs. It's a great been. song. It's enjoying its second life, and we're going to listen to it. But first, I want everybody to know where they can find out more information about Jimmy Yeary and all the things we've been talking about. Yes, you can hear my music, uh, find out dates I'm going to be doing, watch videos, whatever you want uh, at Jimmy. Yeary dot com. That's, that's not hard to remember. That's not that hard to remember. So yeah. Jimmy Yeary. All right. Well, here it is. I 
it's a new bluegrass one, so yeah, we could call it the new single. Yes. I uh, love this song. Correct me if I'm right. I tripped over your suitcase lying on the bedroom floor. But it's usually in the attic. I think I know what it's down here for. The way you're acting lately, baby, I'm starting to believe you're going to break my poor heart and leave. Correct me if I'm right, because I don't want to know the truth. They all come from you Don't be afraid to say What ain't really on your mind I don't think you still love me But darling, feel free to correct me if I'm right well, There's been a lot of rumors Floating all over this town One says you're shopping condos Another says you put some money down And when I add that to the hours You stay away from home The more I'm convinced something's wrong Correct me if I'm right Cause I don't want to know the truth I believe some pretty lies Long as they all come from you Afraid to say what ain't really on your mind. I don't think you still love me, but darling, feel free to correct me if I'm right. Don't be afraid to say. Feel free to correct me if I'm right. I don't think you still love me, but darling, feel free to correct me if I'm
The great Mike Sumner on the five-string banjo, one of his originals, written and recorded originally during his time as a member of Detour, bringing it back uh, for his first release on a brand new label, RBR Records, owned and uh, co-operated by my good buddy Billy Droz, who will be my very special guest right here next week on Into the Blue. Certainly hope you can join me for that. And uh, speaking of Billy, we're going to roll on his brand new single right now. This just out, one called Sweet Gal of Mine. She's the first thing on my mind in the morning, same when I go to sleep. And when I open my eyes, she's by my side, right where I want her to be. Oh, now she looks good in a flannel gown, same in a party dress. If you ask me if I'm living the good life, I tell you that I'm living my best. And it's all because that sweet gal of mine, that sweet gal of mine. Pretty little angel with eyes like sunshine, that sweet gal of mine. And rolling and barely holding my head up over this town. Oh, but that all changed when I gave her my name down at the county courthouse. Now I'm a brand new man with a brand new plan. Sweet potato, shut my mouth. And it's all because that sweet gal of mine, that sweet gal of mine, pretty little angel with eyes like sunshine, that sweet gal of mine. It's all because that sweet gal of mine, that sweet gal of mine, pretty little angel with eyes like sunshine, that sweet gal of mine, that sweet gal. 